good evening guys uh today we will be covering the topic of propulsion in which the sub topic of breton cycle will be covered in the breton cycle chandrali which is the fundamental of the cycles of all the aerodynamics where the applications of different combustion processes occur to generate the thrust the cycle is considered as a pivot before going into what breton cycle is we need to understand first why the unit of propulsion in terms of your thrust development is important we have seen previously that these are the two fundamental equations that govern your thrust and drag equation for your cruise at cruise This is the pivot point, in which lift is fundamentally governed by the aerodynamics of your wings, aerofoils, your fuselage, and entire aeroplane as a body. The weight is something which is generated because you have to carry a payload and you have to design a structure to develop that lift. So this is a structures domain in which we will consider of spars, flangerons, your wing structures, fuselage, tail, everything together. May it be empty weight, may it be total cross weight, may it be maximum takeoff weight. It is a question of structures to extent. Considering the drag again, these these two are basically the quantities which are generally governed by aerodynamics. To generate the lift, we have to have a penalty of drag because without drag there cannot be lift. We saw the Dian and Bird's paradox, and also we saw is there a possibility of lift without a drag? And we said no. In real life, it's not possible. That is the the quota condition that to, for the smooth leaving has to create some drag. So these are also known. This is also known from our understanding. But to do all of this, the aircraft has to have some power. That is thrust. This is the thrust which is generated by the propulsion units, which is the topic of focus for today. And in this thrust generation. we will be considering mostly our mechanisms of thrust generation using engines and engines by fundamental nature operate on the cycle you have a free stream flow coming in which you take you compress to a pressure add fuel burn to make a combustion process add the energy through the fuel and this mixture you eject out using a turbine to do a work and a nozzle to eject at a higher velocity the turbine feeds in your all power requirements and turbine nozzle unit or, or to an extent the entire engine as a unit generates the thrust so we are deep diving into the mechanisms of thrust and in this thrust mechanisms we will be considering various cycles such as breton cycle carnot cycle because thrust is not necessarily related to the aerospace it's related to all of the moving things it's related to ic engines it's related to air breathing engines it's related to closed and open cycle engines where the hydrogen application will also be considered So to understand the thrust and each of the cycles, we will be focusing most of our time today. In this particular case, now today we will be focusing on a particular cycle of Breton cycle, which is the very widely used and widely discussed application in aerospace. Understand deeply, try to solve four or five questions, and then come up with an answer of what is the modern technology doing to this, and what the governing equations will look like. What is the role and scenarios of these? Thrust cycles in the modern aerospace engines.